Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at file management on Unraid. Now a lot of new users may only be familiar with the Windows File Explorer and Windows Samba shares, so coming to a Linux based system can seem a bit alien and strange. So let's have a look at using a file manager with a GUI, just to make things a little bit easier. So in this video, we will install a file manager called Crusader. This is a dual panel file management system that we can easily install into a Docker container. This really makes managing our files and folders on Unraid very simple. It's great for amongst other things, moving files from disk to disk and from share to share. And it's far quicker than trying to do it through the shares from on another computer. So let's list the main topics which we'll be covering in this video. One. Transferring data to our array. When you first set up Unraid, you will no doubt already have data from another system that you want to move to Unraid. So we'll be looking at the quickest and easiest way to do this. Two, moving files and folders within the array. So when we have Unraid set up, we may want to move data from one share to another, or even from one disk to another, or even something as simple as just deleting some files. So we'll be looking at the easiest way to do this. And three, backing things up. Maybe you have two servers and you want to easily copy data between the two for backups. Or maybe you even just want to take some data off the array and put it onto an external hard drive. So we'll be having a look at that as well. And then towards the end of the video, we'll be having a look at a few tips and tricks we can use with Crusader to make everything really easy to use. But before we start, let's quickly talk about the Unraid file system. Remember when you set up your flash drive to boot up Unraid? Well that contains all the OS boot files needed to start the system. Now so many people when they come to Unraid start worrying about this and worrying about the flash drive failing. Well don't! Mainstream operating systems such as Windows or OS X boot from a hard drive and constantly read and write files for the OS all the time. Well if Unraid did this I'd be worried too. But it doesn't. It's only when you power up the server the whole operating system from the flash drive is then put into the RAM and kept there. So it isn't reading or writing all the time to the flash, so it's very safe. And if the flash drive did for some reason fail, who cares? By the time you've watched this video, you'll have used Crusader and backed up the flash drive anyway. Then we'll just put the files back onto a new flash drive, and then ask the kind people at LimeTech to reissue us with a new license key for the flash drive, which we're allowed to do once a year. So, the array is our other file system. Now this is where all of our data is stored. Here we have everything from our media data, to our virtual machine disk, to our docker containers. So it's the array we are interested in for managing our data with Crusader. Of course we could use command line to do this, but this video is for people who would rather use a GUI. Ok, so let's install the software which we need onto the server. Well obviously we're going to install the Crusader docker container, however first we're going to install the unassigned devices plugin, so we can mount unassigned drives and also access them from Crusader. And to install both of these, we're going to do that through Squid's excellent community applications plugin, which if you don't already have installed, then you can see how to in my video on installing the best plugins for Unraid. So let's go to the apps tab, and we'll do a search for unassigned. So we just want to click on install plugin, then click on done. Ok, so now we search for Crusader, and here we can see the docker container by Sparkly Balls here, the Crusader docker. So click on to add, and now here's the template that we're going to have to fill in. Now the first bit here, the host path 1, this is mapped within the container to forward slash unraid. So this is what we want to actually map to our unraid array. So let's click onto the blank space here, and then click on these two dots to go up a directory, and so it should say forward slash mnt forward slash. And the second part here, we need to map this to our app data, as this is where it's going to save all the configuration. So just click onto app data, and then just have forward slash then KDE. OK, but we're actually going to add a couple of our own paths here. So go down to the bottom here and click add another path portal variable. And I'm going to name this unassigned devices. And for the container path, then I'm going to put forward slash and then 
unassigned and capital letters just so it stands out when I'm browsing later. And for the host path, I'm going to click on the two dots here and I'm going to map the folder here that says disks because this is where all of our unassigned devices are kept. And then just click add and now you can see it's added in here. But I'm also going to add one more path so click add again and this time I'm going to call it flash drive and container path I'm going to call it forward slash and then in capitals flash and for the host path I'm going to click on the two dots and then click on the two dots again to go up another directory and now be careful here because this is actually in the Unraid's own system folder and we want to select this directory here boot because this is basically our flash drive so and then click add okay so now we can click apply and bring down the container so then click on done and if we click on here we can see Crusaders now installed so let's start up the container and open the web UI and now just click on to OK and it will say welcome to Crusader. Um, just click OK and just go through all of these clicking OK and then click close and now you'll see two panes side by side with the same files and folders in each. So what you want to do is click on to the two dots here and now you can see all of the files within the Crusader docker and the ones that are in capital letters these are all of the mapped folders that are on our Unraid server. All these other ones here just ignore these these are the this is the file system of the actual docker container itself so we don't need to ever go into these at all. So if I click on to the one here Unraid you'll see here here's the cache disk and here's disk 1 on the array and this here the, the disks this is the unassigned devices and here the user this is all of the user shares so if I open that here you can see there's app data, data, domains, downloads etc and all of these others and this other one here user 0 well this is exactly the same except you'll notice there's one share that's not listed here and that's the app data one and the reason is is because user 0 shows all of the shares that are only on the array and the one user here shows all of the sh all of the shares on both the array and the cache drive so normally we'd only ever really go in through this one here the user and so if we click on the two dots on this side here and we can bring up exactly the same here so I'm just going to go into this folder here where it says user and I'm going to go into my share here that's called test and I'm going to go back onto this side here and I'm going to click onto the two dots and go up a directory over this folder here flash which we mapped over to our flash drive on our server well if I open this here this is all of my flash drive files here so I'm just going to go up a directory here and I'm going to back up the flash drive now onto the array and I'm just going to drag it across and drop it here and click copy here and that's the flash drive all backed up onto my array into a share called test okay so that's the flash drive backed up so now let's move some data from a hard drive that isn't attached to our server onto our array now this is very useful if you're setting up your server for the first time and you've got a few hard drives maybe off your old Windows computer and you want to put that data onto your server without having to transfer it across the network. And we can connect the drive using either SATA or USB. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a USB external hard drive into my server and have it attached as an unassigned drive. So I'm just going to click across to my GUI and now I'm going to go and plug my USB hard drive in. Okay, and now you can see that my one terabyte hard drive is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on to mount. Okay, I'm just going to click on the plus here and we can see here, this is what the disk is called. It's called untitled. And so let's go back to Crusader. And so if we click on the unassigned, you can now see here that we've got the untitled, which is the hard drive we've just plugged in. Now don't worry about all of these here. These are just some other unassigned things I have. And these here are some remote shares I have on my other server. So let's double click on Untitled. And here we can see the contents of the hard drive. And you'll see here that I've got a folder here called Data from Old Computer. So this is the data from my Apple Mac that I want to put onto my Unraid server. So I'm going to click onto Unraid here so I can look at the Unraid devices. And click on User, which is my user shares. And I'm going to open up my test share again. And then I'm going to drag. The folder into here and just click copy here. Now I just need to wait for this all to copy across and then the data is transferred from the external hard drive onto my Unraid array. Okay so that's the data copied from the external hard drive onto the array. 
and now we could either disconnect the hard drive and remove it from the server or we could actually leave it in the server and run what's called a pre-clear now if you don't know what pre-clear is then please watch my video on pre-clearing discs in Unraid and then once this is done we could then add it to the array expanding the size of our array ready for us to copy the next disc onto the array from our old computer OK, so as well as moving data from one hard drive onto our array, we can also move data around inside our array as well. Now suppose this data here I've just put on, I don't want it in my share test, I want to put that into a share called archives. So what I'd have to do is create a new share. Now then go back to Crusader. And then I'm going to go back onto this panel again here on this side and go up a directory and then go back into Unraid here and go into my share, into my user. And now we can see the archives here and what I'm going to do now is drag this across and now instead of clicking copy here, I'm going to click onto move here. And now instantly it's moved across. So you can see it's really easy to move files around within shares. Now moving files from disk to disk that's a little bit different and I wouldn't really recommend any beginners doing that. Um, let's go across onto my main server and have a look there. Okay, so this is my main server. As you can see, I've got a few more disks here. I've got four disks. So let's just have a look at this, fold, this share here I've got called test. And you can see here the folders that are in this share. So now if we go onto disk one here, you can see all of these folders here are basically different shares that I have on my server and here's the one called test and you can see inside of this folder here I don't have all of the folders that are here and that's because those ones will exist on another disk so if I go up a directory and go to my disk 2 I have another folder here called test and inside that we can see these folders here and in disk 3 I don't have a test share at all and in disk 4 we do have a folder for the share test and we've just got the Android folder in here. So as you can see these files here and the files within them are scattered out, are scattered throughout these disks. So for instance let's just go up a directory here and go into the disk 1 and go into test. Now what you've got to be very very careful of is if I wanted to say move this here this, this folder called icon, say I wanted to move this onto my disk 2 and I just put it in as a top level folder and I click move here and then if I go onto my shares on my server you'll see suddenly now I have a share here called icons because it's created the share because it's a top level folder so unless you really understand how this works I really wouldn't bother moving files and folders around from disk to disk until you've had a good look around the Unraid wiki and you've read about disk shares. Right, so next we'll look at copying, moving or syncing data from one server or one computer to another. Okay, so back on the Crusader web UI, let's go up to the top toolbar here and click this icon here with a green tick underneath it and let's change the protocol to SMB and type in here the IP address of the computer you want to connect to and then here put in the username and password of your share and click connect. Okay so you can see on this side here this is all the shares on my main server and on this side here this is the server that I'm running Crusader on at the moment. So I'm going to open this user folder here and again go back to my test share here and I'm going to open the test share on this server and I'm going to copy across this folder here, this data folder and just going to copy here and there we can see that the contents of the folder are exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this folder here and let's go back up a directory and what I'm going to show you now, now we've deleted the handbrake folder out of here we're going to actually compare these two folders and synchronize them. So for that we now need to go onto tools and click synchronize directories and then for the left side here we need to select data which is this one here and the same for the right and click OK and then click compare. 
And as you can see here, the directory handbrake is on this side, but not on this side. And these are the files within it. So now all we have to do is click on to synchronize and click start. And now Crusader synchronized these two directories. It's a very useful feature, I think. Okay, and now just to finish off the video, I'm going to show you some really useful things to make using Crusader just a little bit easier. Um, what we can do is we can put some icons along the toolbar for the folders that we visit a lot. So what I'm going to do is first click on to the right hand side here and I'm going to add this, which is my other server, onto the top toolbar here. So what we have to do is click on to the star here and then click bookmark current and give it a name and I call that other server prime. So I'm going to put that in there and then click OK. And also I'm going to go to this side now and I'm going to click on the bookmark icon here and click bookmark current and I'm going to call this array. Back again, let's go into our unassigned and click the star again and then bookmark current and I'm going to call this just unassigned. OK. And then lastly, I just want to bookmark the flash drive. So exactly the same, click the star, mark current, let's call it flash. Okay, so now we've got these four bookmarks in and we want to put them across the top here. So what we need to do for that now is we need to go into settings and then go to configure toolbars and then click on this downward arrow here and go to actions toolbar. And then if you look here, here's the one called array. And scroll down, and there's flash, and there's unassigned. And what was the last one? Yeah, it was my other server prime. Okay, so now I click apply and OK. Now we can see the icons at the top here. So let's right hand click each one and then click text position and put under icons. And now here we've got all of the different things that we go to. So if I click on this one here, it goes straight to the array straight to the flash, straight to unassigned, and then straight to the other server. So that's really useful having these icons up the top. And so the last thing today I'm gonna to show you is how to compress and uncompress files in Crusader. I'll click on the icon here that says plus, that says pack, and I'm gonna choose the zip file here, and that says where it's gonna zip the file to, so I just click OK and now it's created a zip file for me and again if I delete this here I can click on this file here and click this one here unpack click OK and so basically we can compress and uncompress files within Crusader as well anyway guys that brings us to the end of this video now I hope you found some things here that were useful and maybe you didn't know before and if you like the video then I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel for a new video every week. If you like what I do then every donation is appreciated which you can do through the link in the top right. So guys whatever you're up to for the rest of the day I hope it's good and I'll catch you all in that next video.